So you're going to make what now? Mm, our friend Tanya just asked us to frame a large mirror. How big are we talking about? The, big. Like, like big? Just watch. We start off with a half inch of white wood plywood. I was so shocked to watch all this because I don't even know when you did this. <laughs> the kids are very busy. I don't know. I don't know when these things occur. We just needed to cut this down first. And with the cutoff pieces, an extra two feet, I cut six uh, three and a half inch wide pieces here. And they come around as the ridge of the frame that you'll see later. Oh, the old mixing bowl. We were going to do this curly Q design, and I didn't know which size bowl to use. And uh, I thought maybe the purple one first, since it was all the way around, instead of the red being kind of a funny shape. Now you're getting all set up to measure the border so that you can make... The circle's perfect. I thought this was clever. Yeah, this is a pretty easy build, but it took a lot to make sure that you get a good, clean layout. And when I first set up the purple bowl, I could see it was too small. So I went back to the red one and just kind of worked around the spout and the handle so I could get a nice, even design and, uh, and then get really confused by all of the lines. Yeah. I was like, I hope he knows which one. You know my body, never know. Here we just start a pilot hole and then didn't need to use anything but a jigsaw to cut out this big curly Q design for the mirror. face cut out, we could take those six thinner strips that we used and just use some simple wood glue and some brad nails to tack them into place and, uh, and start assembling the frame. I was really worried you were going to shoot one of those nails right into your hand. And I did. <laughs> well grazed it, it really. So now the sides of the mirror, we had four foot long pieces, but the mirror face was six feet long. So we had to actually join the two of them and we do that with a scarf joint. What is a scarf joint? I'm so glad you asked. A scarf joint is a joint connecting two pieces of timber or metal in which the ends are beveled or notched so that they fit over or onto one another. And there is another definition. Ooh, what is it? An incision made in the blubber of a whale. Well, that's, that's useful. Mm. To start a scarf joint, you take the two pieces you're gonna to join together and you bevel the ends of them both at 45 degrees. And you start by just going ahead and tacking on the first board and definitely helped to have your hands on there. Yes, the thing about scarf joints, you have to be so precise. So it did really help to have an extra pair of hands and you just are wondering like, is this gonna look bad? And but boom, it does. It looks good. Yeah, then it looks amazing. So with those tacked on, you can see we got the basic shape of the frame there. Yeah. Then it was a matter of just closing up all of the nail holes and they used a color matched wood filler, which was really, really nice. You can see the holes just blend away. And now we're back to sanding, always sanding. I went ahead and went in with uh, some 80 grit to get rid of the unevenness of the curvature. And back to sanding. Wait, look at your squats there. You can squat that low? Well, CrossFit teaches me to squat, squat low, so. Good Lord. I'm, hey, I'm trying. Flexible. I'm trying. Go back to the round over bit here. This made a nice, just kind of even edge. We thought it kind of flowed with all of the curves and, and we'll dive back onto the mirror. Love that round over footage. Okay, so now moment of truth. Oh, is, this this is, so giant, is this giant mirror gonna fit into our frame? Any second I thought this was gonna drop and shatter. Oh my gosh, it, this incredibly stressful working with a mirror. So then here it's it now all the weights on my toes and I'm definitely breaking a toe there. <laughs> right. That hurt. 
hurt a lot. Wait, is that it? Look at your Jamaican towel. Spring break 03. <laughs> now check out this tolerance, guys. Check out this tolerance. So tight. Boom. So to fix it in there, we just went ahead and tacked in a couple of blocks, made it nice and snug. Didn't have to worry about glue. And that was it. That was all that we needed there. There she is. And uh, after a little bit of a thorough examination. I gotta tell you, it looks professional to me. Well, the kids approved of it. Yeah. but it was beautiful when it was all done and I thought very professional so kudos to you. Well thanks it was kind of nice we didn't finish it all the way because our friend's son is an artist so he's going to take it from here and paint it and do all kinds of designs on it we just need to make sure it was nice and sanded and ready for him. And he was so blown away when he came and picked it up that was so gratifying and I'm sure you other woodworkers know when your client comes and picks up their piece and they're so pleased with it it's the best feeling. So hey if you like the way that we frame this custom mirror go ahead and give the video a like. Thanks, bye.